Plans for the wall have been approved. Cuban commandant died. The UK has left the European Union. Which has caused a big crisis in Spain. They have also aligned themselves with people to test ballistic missiles. Thanks to me, Tropico is an undisputed paradise. But the values of our paradise are now being threatened. Threatened by populists and despots. I, El Presidente, will prevent this. I accept the nomination for another presidential term. I will make Tropico even greater, even bigger, and even better. Instead of walls, I will build bridges, bringing Tropico's islands and people together, rather than separating them. New means of transportation will offer great opportunities of exchange to you and our visitors. I will bring diversity, culture, and the wonders of the world to Tropico, so that all other nations will look upon us with envy. Vote for El Presidente. Vote for Tropico 6. Or else. Thank you. 
chica que está nerviosa, yo le quiero regalar un mar de rosas. Ay, chica, no vayas lejos, que me duele el corazón, triste sollozo. Tú los cuantos días más de ausencia, dime, niña, ¿qué haré yo sin ti? Unos cuantos días más sin ti, y escaparemos por el cielo, sí. Chica, ven a mis brazos, que te quiero regalar un millón de besos. Ay, chica, te importa, yo te llevo hasta la altar si tú me amas. Unos cuantos días más de ausencia, dime, niña, ¿qué haré yo sin ti? Unos cuantos días más sin ti, y escaparemos con el cielo sí. I ask myself, Governor, do the ends justify the aiming? But for independence, any sacrifice is worthwhile. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? Choices like continue as governor or begin a new career in manual labor.
cut you tired of lies, felt. As much as the people enjoy sleeping under the... La revolución. Together, Governor Ju, I, and the...
Governor, the people have a request, but for safety reasons, it is a secret request. Well, you did the right thing, which is...
if I may have your attention, President. Loyal Penaltimo is speechless. Oh. Our revolution is as yet only marginally glorious, but with your continued support. It's not... Governor, the people have a request, but for safety reasons, it is a secret request.
something does not feel quite right, Governor. I have a powerful desire to call you Presidente. Well, you did the right thing, which is...
Excuse me, Ellsport. I need a teensy tiny favor. Get something. Please let me be. I am sorry, not today, please. La revolución. Together, Governor you, I, and the people. I must say I'm glad to be...
governor the people have a request, but for safety reasons it is a secret request. Judgment is always impeccable, President.
Presidente, your political maneuverings are the stuff of... It's nice to have choices, isn't it? The choices like continuous...
Hay más. People of Tropical love you almost as much as I do, Governor. We have such exquisite taste. Excellent. I knew you had a good head on your shoulders. My heart swells with joy as I greet my fearless leader for the first time as El Presidente. that? Oh, Presidente. That's a relief. For a second there, I thought you were the Hun. <laughs> Can't be too careful. That's what the propaganda says, and I should know I write it. <laughs> Sit down. Pour yourself a drink. I'm Winton Mulberry. Very pleased to meet you. Perhaps you can help me lose this damned war a little slower. 
Do not be concerned by my physical severity, President. I have a condition of the face muscles, which means that I cannot smile. Nevertheless, our relationship shall be a friendly one. It is preferable that what benefits the axis benefits Tropical. However, if for some reason it does not, you shall comply anyway. Hmm? In this way we shall be friendly. Yeah? They call me the Broker. I guess I had another name once. But you know what names are good for? They're good for getting you arrested, Presidente. Well, that's not my game. My game would be business. Which business? Hey, what have you got? I came to see you as soon as I found these were available, Presidente. What do you think? Have your attention, Presidente.
I sometimes wonder about your final confession, Presidente. I suspect that it could take... Excuse me, Presidente. I have it. We must choose a side in this terrible war before it ends. It is on.
remember, loose lips might sink ships, so tighten your lips with a tropical made spanner. You won't regret it. Do any of these offers look good? A good leader listens to the people, Presidente. Show you care for your Tropican comrades and win their hearts and souls. Though you do not get to keep them, okay? Speaking of souls, I'd imagine that El Presidente is looking forward to joining me in heaven rather than going to the other place. The Good Shepherd looks after the sheep, don't you agree? Now, I don't want to alarm you, but I'm going to need a rather prompt decision on these offers.
Everyone has friends, right, Press? And it's right to help them. Airplanes have revolutionized warfare, yet Tropical still has no Air Force. An official palace statement says, learn to fly one, then we will get planes. Another day, another deal. Presidente, 
There is a flaw in my... Sports, Perez. Who doesn't love X? They have not cooperated upon anything. Disaster of disasters. The crew is sobering up. 
Worse still, they are asking questions about employment conditions and workplace safety. Do any of these offers look good to you? They're all strictly legitimate. Convenient as it
Carlos Magno. I came to see.
over me timbers. It was suddenly pilgrimage season and we were surrounded. The task is done. You ask how much you are to be paid? A questioning intellect is to be respected.
A few opportunities came up.
The best defense is a good offense. Arse. It's always a pleasure doing business. Need your help, Presidente. It's all gone pear shaped, and we need a steady hand on the tiller. The citizens are demanding elections, Presidente. It seems that they want a choice in how they are ruled.
People of Tropico, it is I, your president. You have showed your faith in me, and that faith will be rewarded. Every Tropicon will get what they deserve. Your president does not ignore your faith. You need places to pray, to confess your sins, and to nap before Holy Communion. God is everywhere, but it is unwise to worship outside in hurricane season. Our ongoing prosperity is supported by the capitalists, with thanks. We're grateful for the many fulfilling jobs you create for my people and your progressive attitudes towards taxation. Let us speak of the nation's health. More doctors do I hear? But that is not enough. We need better doctors working longer hours for less pay. So vote El Presidente for the future that you deserve. All of you. Viva Tropico!
didn't think we'd ever get back. It's tropical. Would any of these be of interest to you? It's all strictly above board, of course. Unable to land plane anywhere near Palace owing to start of monsoon season.
I'm so glad I made this. from El Presidente. Buy war bonds. They help us win the war. And you can win fabulous prizes. Presidente, I am inspired. I have solved the problem of capitalism. Do any of these offers look good to you? They're all strictly legitimate. Some say that while there remain nations unconquered, the fatherland is incomplete. Prolong your independence, Presidente, by meeting my needs.
Everyone has to do their bit for the war effort, old sport, so don't care a thro- Everyone has friends, right, Prez? to say, we don't understand the physics. Palace says, try harder.
I'm sure the good citizens of Tropico intend to vote for you, Presidente. I myself intend to vote for you many, many times. that no country thinks Tropico is worth sending rockets against. Another day, another deal completed. Very nice, if I do say so myself. is a landslide, Presidente. The metaphorical kind, not the kind that accidentally reduces the size of the workforce. I came to see you as soon as I found these were available, Presidente. What do you think? Presidente, I know you always keep your promise. The results are in. 
And it's a decisive victory for El Presidente, our beloved and inescapable Commander-in-Chief. Wait for the perfect moment to strike, or we could go in guns blazing, if we had guns. are blessed with faith, hope, and check. I knew I could count on you to do the right thing.
has my... The voice of Tropico reminds all citizens to be vigilant, eat sparingly, and buy war bonds. Victory depends upon the size of the palace treasury. It's complete. Once again, the breadth of El Presidente's awesome political vision is shown.
What's up, guys and gals? Brian Tronk here, and look, I... Hi, Madhuri, and hi, Shriram. Hello, hi. Thank you for talking to Quint. Now, if there were a Indian edition of the Ripley's Believe It or Not, you know, one of the first items I'm sure would be that, you know, Shriram Nene didn't see any film of Madhuri Dixit. Nobody's ever put it that way. That's a good way to put it. I mean, I, I'm sure the whole of India would be like, what? <laughs> Has that changed in any way? Have you caught up? <laughs> well, well, just to qualify it, I didn't speak Hindi. I'm Maharashtrian, so I spoke Marathi. And all of the Hindi films, I couldn't understand. I grew up in the West, as you said, and so in the West, you know, you had these plot-driven thrillers. I mean, I was a huge Star Wars fan and other things growing up, right? So for me, it wasn't something which was different than any other immigrant child growing up in the U.S. Even in coming to Mumbai every summer, we didn't go to watch Hindi films because we lived in Mumbai and we spoke Marathi. It's changed to some degree in that I have gone to a few of the premieres. I've seen a handful of the films. Um, I, I think, you know, the, the storytelling which occurs here is an art which is in and of itself interesting. And I think that's even evolving. I think all of us would agree that we've gone from, you know, song and musical things to some plot-driven stuff and whatnot. There's an evolution. But there's a certain beauty in that, and you have to appreciate that to really understand, you know, how this all fits in. Um, having said that, I've probably seen a handful of films, you know. Now after we've gotten married. <laughs> yeah. No, Marjorie, uh, you've done so many films. You've done romance, you've done suspense, you've done issue-based films, you've done a few violent films also. Now, when you put on a producer's hat, those are the things that came to mind that these are the things that my film should have and these are the things that my film should have. No, you cannot really go into 